Hey, this is Tom Sion, and co-founder of Buddy Boss, and today I am super excited to share with you what we're up to at Buddy Boss. And there's so much happening at Buddy Boss right now that I just cannot wait to share all of this with you. But before I do that, I think for anyone who's been watching my update videos in 2020 and 2021, you deserve to know why I had to stop making these videos over the last six months. The launch of the Buddy Boss app was our biggest product launch in the history of Buddy Boss. And although it took five years of building and iterating, the launch effort was around nine months of extremely high pressure. Our team all worked super hard. I was putting in 16 hour work days and I only remember taking two days off over a period of three months. The effort took a big toll on my health and I had to make a decision to slow down, which meant cutting on some of the commitments I had set for myself. Now, thankfully, Buddy Boss is not just me. It's 150 super passionate team members who work tirelessly to make Buddy Boss the best it can be. This means that while I was focusing on improving my health, our amazingly passionate team continued to fire all cylinders. But it was important that we at least continue to provide you with product updates. So our product team took the initiative to make product update videos for all of you during that time, which at least helped keep everyone up to date with the progress we were making in developing our products. Meanwhile, as I started doing a lot better, I realized how much I missed interacting with Buddy Boss customers. I also realized how much connecting with Buddy Boss customers and learning about how our software helps them make an impact in this world was so important to both me and my team. This is the fuel that keeps me and my team motivated to continue to work hard and invest in creating innovative solutions that can help our customers succeed even more. And I was really happy to see a number of our customers asking for the monthly update videos to come back. That validated to me that the majority of our customers do appreciate having these update videos. And over the last couple of weeks, I started getting on calls with customers to learn more about what they're up to, how they're using Buddy Boss, the wins they're having, and also the challenges they have. I knew I would enjoy these conversations, but my expectations have been blown away. I'm having such a blast connecting with these amazing people, and I hope I will connect with more of you in the future. So enough about my story here, let's get started with the updates. In this video, I will talk to you about how we are transforming Buddy Boss internally so we can create a bigger impact for our customers, the big updates that are coming to Buddy Boss Web, and how we're making major improvements to the Buddy Boss app to allow for more possibilities, customizations, and an overall improved experience. After the extremely high pressure launch of the Buddy Boss app last year, we began transforming every area of the business in an effort to improve every aspect of the operations that led to the products and services we provide. We've created a whole new team, which now has six members led by Graham. This is the new Buddy Boss customer success team where the main focus is to help our customers reach success when using our products. And other than Graham, who was a Buddy Boss customer for years, two of the other team members are also Buddy Boss customers. Meet Tom Jutla, who is a Buddy Boss app customer and who was so passionate about the app that he asked if he could join our team. And we were super happy to welcome him at Buddy Boss. And meet Stephanie, who is also a Buddy Boss customer and who recently joined the customer success team and is helping customers with their expertise and knowledge of the Buddy Boss products. In the last few months, the customer success team started to proactively reach out to Buddy Boss app customers to check on them and to ask them if they need help with creating, customizing, or publishing their mobile app. This was the next phase in our customer success program, building on a foundation that Jason had created for us before he moved to the marketing team. So if you're an app customer and you still haven't launched your mobile app for whatever reason, you have received at least one email from customer success team. And if you didn't receive an email, please check your spam folder or reach out to success at buddyboss.com. Since the rollout, our customer success team has done hundreds of calls with BuddyBoss app customers, assisting them with any questions they had or blockers that were preventing them from moving forward. Although the customer success team is starting with a focus on the BuddyBoss app customers, our plan is to start to progressively roll out the efforts to our other products and services later this year. And we've also made some major improvements to the Buddy Boss support team. We've created a whole new support tier of highly technical developers 
Who helps speed up the resolution of any complex issues that come through the support channel? We spent and we continue to spend a considerable amount of time with process analysts to enhance processes in an effort to improve efficiency and customer satisfaction. We've migrated to Freshdesk in an effort to provide our support team more visibility and access to more information so they can be more efficient in answering customer requests. And this is an effort that is still in progress and that we expect to have completed by the end of the quarter. We've also made some major changes to how our product team operates. We've changed how we manage development projects. We've introduced more predictable bi-weekly product release cycles, and we've migrated to Jira to help support the transformation and also help provide more visibility to customer service agents and customers. This is an effort that is also still in progress and that we expect to have completed by the end of this quarter. And last but not least, we've started accepting new projects again at the Buddy Boss Agency. In 2020, as we were gearing up for the launch of the Buddy Boss app, we've paused taking on new clients and our agency team continued to work exclusively with existing clients. We wanted to put all our focus on the app launch and at the time, we didn't have the capacity to handle taking on new agency clients and launching the app at the same time. But over the past year, we've received so many requests through different channels for the agency, which made us realize how important the Buddy Boss agency is to the success of our customers. Many of you have plans to build custom features on your Buddy Boss powered website or app, and giving you the ability to work with the developers who participated in creating these products can make a big difference. So we invested time and energy into building better processes and an improved team structure to allow us to run the agency at scale. And we've recently reopened the doors of the agency and began accepting new clients. All of these efforts are helping build a strong foundation that will allow us to make a bigger impact for our customers. And I am super excited for 2022 and excited to see everything we've been working on come together. So what's coming to Buddy Boss products in 2022? Let's start with Buddy Boss Web. We just beta released a huge performance update to the Buddy Boss platform and theme, which will help make your Buddy Boss powered website and mobile app significantly faster. We're starting with a beta as we've restructured a huge amount of code and we've added a lot more support for server level caching. So we wanna make sure it plays well with a bigger variety of server configurations before we release it to everyone. And we'll also be publishing a video that will go deeper into explaining all the progress that has been made. And Buddy Boss Team 2.0 is right around the corner. We're expecting to release a new version by the end of this quarter, and this is one of the updates I am most excited about. Leading up to the Buddy Boss Team 2.0 release, we just released some new features allowing you to better customize profile and group avatars, as well as cover photos across both your Buddy Boss powered website and mobile app. And you'll find a link in the description below to a video that goes into more detail. Our product team has also spent a considerable amount of time rethinking and redesigning the activity post form with a big focus on the user experience. And you'll find a link in the description below to a video that goes into more detail about this redesign. And another feature improvement we just released, which was requested by many of you, is the ability to not only make your website private, which was already possible, but now also have the ability to restrict access to the REST APIs on your website and RSS feeds for enhanced security. The feature also takes the Buddy Boss app into consideration since it uses REST APIs. We're also making it much easier for developers to create new custom notifications. Developers will have the ability to register a custom notification once and have it work across email, web, and app. This major upgrade to the notification system is expected to be released later this quarter. Lastly, many of you have been asking about the TutorLMS integration. This is a project our team was previously working on and had to put on hold when we found out about TutorLMS 2.0. It didn't make sense for us to continue doing the work when there were major layout changes announced. And now that TutorLMS has released their beta, which looks really cool by the way, we plan to refocus on this integration after the launch of Buddy Boss 2.0. Now on the Buddy Boss app side, we're working on some major improvements to the in-app purchases component to allow for more customization and the ability to handle more scenarios based on feedback we've gathered from Buddy Boss app customers. There are multiple phases to this project and we expect to release the updates progressively over the next couple months. 
These improvements include the ability to set featured images for your in-app products, the ability to choose which products to show on the registration screen, support for consumable products, and overall improvements to the process of creating and configuring your products. We're also working on major enhancements to access control, specifically in the app. We're building a number of features that will allow you to customize and control access to the app based on the membership level, user type, or other criteria. You'll be able to control which menus are visible to users based on if they're logged in or logged out and based on their access level. You'll also be able to limit access to specific core app screens, specific Learn Dash courses, WordPress pages, app pages, and WordPress posts. This feature is strongly related to IIP. It makes in-app purchases more powerful because it will give you a lot more control over what users see in the app based on their purchase. And it will give you the opportunity to upsell users to a higher membership level if they go to a screen in the app that they don't have access to. This is a project that we are working to complete over the next two to three months. We are also working on creating a new app block for blog posts, allowing you to display blog posts in a block on your app pages and use filters to determine which blog posts you want to show. And we expect to release this feature by the end of Q1. Lastly, we continue to make incremental improvements in other areas of the app, such as improvements to the developer tools and other small improvements, as well as fixing issues reported by BuddyBoss app customers. For example, for apps that have custom development, we will now start showing which branch was used for a specific build you've created in the build history screen, making it much easier for developers to test their apps and know what specific code is being used in each build. And while our development team is busy working on making big enhancements to these app components, we're already working on designing the big features of the BuddyBoss app that we'll be working on next. So that's it for product updates. I am super excited for what's coming to BuddyBoss products in 2022. We're continuing to see more and more course creators, community builders, and business owners choose BuddyBoss to power their online courses and communities. This month, I'd like to highlight Boss Babe's membership platform, the Societe, which runs on BuddyBoss platform. Boss Babe is an online community founded by Natalie Ellis and Danielle Kenty for ambitious women who want to make more money online and grow their online presence on social media. Alongside the community, they've built a membership with a library of exclusive programs from industry leaders on sales, marketing, hiring, branding, social media growth, money mindset, and much more. And they've done such an incredible job customizing the look and feel of the BuddyBoss platform. Another BuddyBoss powered community I would like to highlight today is Charlene Johnson's Insta Club Hub. Insta Club Hub is an online community designed to help you grow your following and reach more customers on Instagram. The membership comes with monthly live trainings, on-demand trainings, templates, freebies, and more. The website looks beautiful and they've done a very nice implementation of the BuddyBoss theme and platform. So that's it for today's updates. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon so you can be notified when we post a new video. And I'll see you in February for the next BuddyBoss update.